complement system. Why the name is complement? Because it complements the ability of antibodies to do their job. Three different pathways depending on who pulls the trigger. Who will start the cascade? If it's antigen antibody complex, this is the classical pathway. If it's the bacterial endotoxin, this is the alternative pathway. If mannose binding lectin, this is the lectin pathway. In PNH, the problem is usually in the alternative pathway, so let's elaborate. Now, alternative pathway of the complement. What triggers the cascade is bacterial endotoxin, which is a lipopolysaccharide in the outer membrane of gram-negative bacteria. That was nice microbiology there. We start with factor C3, hydrolysis in the presence of water, into factor C3B. It will bind with factor B, and then factor D will convert factor B into BA and BB. Factor BB will combine with C3B to form C3 convertase. This is a big deal. C3 convertase will convert C3 into C3A and C3B. C3B will bind with C3 convertase to form C5 convertase. C5 convertase will do what? Convert C5 into C5A and C5B. C5B together with C6, 7, 8, and 9 will form something called the MAC. This is not anti-Microsoft and this is not McDonald's either. This is the membrane attack complex. It will form a pore in the cell membrane of the bacteria which will disrupt the ionic and osmotic environment of the cell and now the bacteria will die, go to hell.